What's going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. And in today's case, it's going to get a little bit spooky. That's right everybody, Midsummer Scream recently sent us a press release and to our surprise, we have dates, we have ticket sales, and we have a lot more information on the fan favorite Halloween slash horror convention coming on July 29th to the Southern California area. But before we get into all those juicy details, make sure if you're not already subscribed with those bell notifications on and leave this video a like if you enjoy the video. It does help out the channel a whole lot. And if you want to stay up to date with all the different theme park news and horror related news, then I highly suggest you subscribe and check out some of our content because we're back on the grind, everybody. And I'm trying my best to bust out these videos as fast as possible with you guys with everything going on in my life so I'm excited I'm happy especially since haunt season is kicking back up it, it makes it to where there's so much stuff to talk about since you know there's not a lot of stuff happening in the beginning of the year for haunt season or just theme park news in general anyways everybody enough of that like I said we have some exciting news in regard to midsummer scream so we have a whole bunch of details of some stuff that we can expect this year which I'm gonna go over and tell you a little bit about it so first thing first are the dates so the dates are gonna be July 29th through July 31st and tickets actually go on sale this Saturday so tomorrow because you guys are watching this on Friday you can purchase your ticket tomorrow Saturday now if you decide to purchase tickets on Saturday tomorrow then you're gonna get 40% off general admission and that is a steal guys that's almost 50% that's 50% of your ticket guys so don't wait to buy tickets to Midsummer Scream I highly recommend you purchase tickets early and in advance and you start planning early because there are tons of stuff to do during this convention so for a limited time only, there's not a set date on what it is, but for a limited time, you can score 40% off general admission tickets, and that's not including the Gold Bat VIP ticket. And if you're wondering what the Gold Bat VIP experience is, well, you get the entire weekend. You get like a commemorative pin slash lanyard. I'm not too sure what they're doing this year, but usually they give you something commemorative to like tell you, hey, I was there at Midsummer Scream and I was a Gold Bat. So, you know, here's this cool pin that you get. You also get front of the line to different attractions in Hall of Shadows and express line to the different panels that they have and they have a whole ton. So definitely explore your different ticket options. If you don't think that you can get everything done in one day, I highly recommend the gold bat instead of buying just separate general admission tickets for each day it's definitely worth your money especially since you get those express passes to the attractions and to the panels so i highly recommend you look into that and look into all the different ticket options once they go live on saturday also as we all know midsummer scream had kind of a hiatus obviously had awaken the spirits last year which was a more scaled down event that took place at the pasadena convention center but if you purchase tickets before they announce the cancellation of midsummer scream 2020 then you are able to also use those tickets for the 2022 event You'll just have to go through a whole redeeming process through MidsummerScream.org and that's also where you'll be able to purchase tickets at 10 a.m. tomorrow on Saturday. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as all the links that you need to know in order to be able to purchase those tickets and redeem the tickets from 2020. Now this is the world's largest Halloween and horror convention celebrating its fifth year anniversary at Long Beach Convention Center with three days of ghoulish fun. And every single year if you've gone to this convention they expand it so much like it used to be the small thing it was still in the same convention center but it used to be way smaller now it's just taking completely over the entire convention between the theaters between the different ballrooms i mean it's a midsummer scream everywhere that you see in there and let me tell you guys the line gets extremely long so like i highly recommend and i'm gonna do a whole survival guide on how you're gonna get everything done at once um, as we get closer to the show. But uh, the line gets extremely long because this convention is very, very popular. But that's all, you have three days, plenty of time to experience everything and see everything. The Hall of Shadows returns with the theme of Halloween Comes Home. Guests will step into a darkened realm filled with fog, haunted attractions, and lurking monsters. Over a dozen home and pro haunters, including Cow Haunts, Fear Farm, Richland Asylum, Temecula Terror, and Corona Haunt will create stunning mazes and displays for guests to explore. The Decayed Brigade will thrill audiences with incredible displays of sliding and showmanship daily. Now, me personally, I think that a lot of people would agree. I think that the Hall of Shadows is probably the coolest thing about Midsummer Scream. Yeah, you have the vendors. Yeah, you have the live entertainment. You know, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I still have lots to talk about. But the Hall of Shadows is such a cool and unique thing because it's essentially its own haunt of it. You step foot inside. It's all dark. There's fog blowing through. There's lasers. There's 
these different colors and lights going through you see all these different facades and you have at least 10 to 12 mazes to walk through and they are mini mazes but some of them aren't so many some of them will last up to two to three minutes even longer and the haunters always do an excellent job at setting up these different mazes and having their own individual theme for midsummer scream in specific and not just using the same stuff that they would for their normal haunts during the haunt season so props to all the home haunters and the pro haunters who come out to midsummer scream on a yearly basis and set up their mazes for everybody to enjoy guys i'm telling you especially with a theme every year that's what they like to do they always like to set a theme like there was one year where it was like tiki terror and that was awesome they had a cool facade set up just to get into the hall of shadows alone but as soon as you step foot in there there are lurking monsters or scare actors everywhere and it's just awesome because you wouldn't see that at any other convention or something of that magnitude and it's really really big they have expanded it quite a bit like i said another reason why you should get the gold bat because the lines for these different attractions in the hall of shadows can get relatively long so you don't want to be stuck waiting in line for the mazes all day long where you could be missing a specific panel that you enjoy maybe you're missing out on the fright fest panel or the not scary farm panel and you really wanted to see that but you're stuck in line for a maze that you want to walk through but it seems like every year at this show they're always adding new panels and presentations of course you're going to have the big names like halloween horror nights not scary farm like i said fright fest but they're also bringing in these brand new panels and presentations that will open up a new realm of maybe eyeballs to certain things that we didn't know about if you guys have been following the haunt speculation realm for quite some time now you know at these conventions and midsummer in specific typically all these pro haunters give big announcements on mazes and different scare zones that are coming i know halloween horror nights loves to make an announcement every single year at midsummer scream i mean i can't think of a, a year where they didn't make an announcement at this convention so it's definitely exciting to be one of the first you know with everybody watching it to know what's coming to Halloween Horror Nights or what's coming new to Not Scary Farm. I mean, come on, you don't want to see it on Twitter or something. You want to be in person and say, I was there when John Murdy announced Beetlejuice. Crossing our fingers. I, no, like, guys, don't take that out of context. I'm just saying, using that as an example. There's also plenty of special guests, including horror icons and, and just different big names in the realm of horror. And of course, what would a convention be without vendors? Over 350 vendors and different artists will cover the show floor at this event, and it's going to be awesome. You know, you can spend tons of money at this convention because the amount of things that you didn't know existed or the amount of Halloween merch that you can buy or horror merch or maybe you want a Killer Collins from Outer Space t-shirt, you can get that. Maybe you want, let's say, a, a Scream, um, I don't know, windshield wiper. No, not a windshield wiper, a, a, a car windshield cover. They'll have that there too. And there's all these artists that put their hard work into creating these different things to sell definitely support them a whole lot because they're out there on their own time trying to sell their products and a lot of them are very very talented so I highly recommend you spend a lot of time in the show floor um, if you're not in the hall of shadows or if you're not at a panel slash presentation the vendors are incredible there's different artists and there's a lot of stuff going on on that show floor and of course there's plenty of monsters roaming that area too because there are tons of cosplayers that come to this event plenty of photo opportunities and all that fun there is something brand new coming to this year's event and that is the museum of halloween displaying a variety of vintage collectibles costumes and more alongside original artwork created just for the event celebrating the culture community and even commercialism of the spooky season i'm really excited for the museum of halloween i have been to different conventions like monster palooza where they have these small little museums and they have just different you know halloween stuff in there whether it be a, a statue of maybe the creature from the black lagoon or just other stuff like that I think that this is going to be a great addition to Midsummer Scream. I definitely think it's going to bring out all the Halloween lovers, whether it be you're a vintage Halloween lover, you're a modern Halloween lover. I think that this is going to be a hit with everybody. And I think this will rival the Hall of Shadows as everybody's favorite thing at this year's event. I can't wait for it. I think that will probably be the first thing that I check out because... That sounds like a lot of fun, and it sounds like something right up my alley. And there's so much more to discover at Midsummer Scream 2022 this year. I just went over uh, some of the few details that were uh, announced today. And there's a lot of information that you can get from MidsummerScream.org. I'm really excited. Um, of course, we'll probably be out there once again this year, and we're going to be there for two days this time. I, want, I always do one day, and I feel like there's just not enough time to do it. So definitely want to try to do two days this year, and it's going to be a, a lot of exciting content. Content for sure since we're gonna go two days i'm gonna be posting 
a whole lot of videos from full panels and presentations to uh, a full two-part vlog and even walkthroughs of the different hall of shadows attractions i cannot wait this is i'm so happy that midsummer scream is back like i said we had awaken the spirits last year but it just didn't feel like midsummer scream is a scaled down event and you know rightfully so because we obviously knew what was going on in the world and what is still going on in the world but now with the different restrictions that have been since taken off and now it's not as strict we can all rejoice and have a great time at this year's Midsummer Scream 2022 happening July 29th through July 31st. Get your tickets tomorrow, midsummerscream.org. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And as always, everybody, if you like this video, make sure to leave it a like down below because we post videos like this all the time in regards to updates on Halloween stuff, theme park stuff, and all that. So if you like this video, stick around and subscribe with those bell notifications on. My name is Scott, and you've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.